Hey there fam, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to New York. So this is going to be my first vlog for my return. And this is about two weeks now that I've been back. But I haven't really been in the mood to film. But um, I have some new things that I know you guys want to see. So I'm not asking if you want to see. I'm telling you, you guys want to see. And of course, starting with this new look that I have. I will insert how I installed this unit by Love Me Here. Oh my God, guys. Obviously, I done took apart the box and everything. But one thing I want to show you is the way this way came packaged. First, when I received it and I saw just the packaging. I was blown away. For the money I paid for this wig, I did not expect the effort that was put into presenting that wig to me. And it came in a very short space of time. I think it took about three to four days to arrive after I ordered it online. 
came in this beautiful purple box. Um, they had a little note from the, I guess the owner. And then it had a few little items, including the little baby hair brush. And I love it because it's so much softer than the ones I use, that I normally purchase. Like I've had some from beauty supply stores or ordered off of Amazon. This one is so soft and I love that because I don't need such a hard bristle on my edges. And oftentimes I end up using a toothbrush because those are so hard that the toothbrush is a lot softer and less damaging to my edges. So I love that. He also has the small comb teeth in case you want to use that. I prefer to use this versus the, the brush head. The brush came in this little uh, makeup bag. Well, I say it's a makeup bag. It doesn't necessarily have to be, but I could definitely carry a few um, smaller makeup items in this bag. And it has a zipper. And <laughs> my favorite part of all is this mirror. It is so compact but I can see myself really, really clearly. I absolutely love that. Their little gifts are so thoughtful. We also have some wig caps, and in addition to that, there is a pack of wig caps, and I think there's a coupon. Well, you can save $5, it looks like, on your orders with them, but they always seem to have sealed. This is not my first time seeing Love Me Here. But I saw a video from a search that I was doing. I was looking for a bob. So I did a quick search for beautiful lace front bobs. And they had like, they were at the top. So I watched one video after another after another of this particular unit. And all of the reviews were really, really good. So I thought, hey, for the price, I think I paid just over $100. For the price I paid, that was really good I got a disc I think the full price was about $180 and I would have saved the money by a, by applying a discount code that I think I got when I subscribed to them but either way even for that price $180 without the discount for, for me for our unit with such good quality lace and hair that is a very good price I realized that it's not shedding. In fact, I can't remember seeing one piece of hair come out of this unit except for what I took out. Um, <laughs> and I'm talking about the ones that I cut to make my, uh, to lay my baby edges. Guys, let me know if based upon my previous videos, if you think I've gotten better at laying the edges of wigs or if it's just this unit was just easier. I think I've gotten better, but I believe this unit just made it so easy for me. Uh, I don't know if it's perfectly done, but I will know based upon Jade's reaction because he hasn't seen the unit yet, how good it is. I actually love the length. I think I got the 14 inches. I think they come in both 14 and 16. Those are the two lengths. I got the shorter one because I prefer a shorter bob to a longer bob. In fact, I wouldn't even mind if this bob was a little shorter, but for the way the curls are, I like it at this length. Maybe later on I might go in and change the shape of it or something. But absolutely love it, guys. Uh, let me know if you would wear a wig like this. And what do you think about lace fronts? I, they're not my favorites. I love to see them on others. But why they're not my favorites is because I am not good at like laying the edges and making them look flawless like the girls do. <laughs> I'm not that person. But I'm getting more and more into them because sometimes I just want to have a break from my own hair or have a different look. And wigs are one of the best and easiest ways to do that. I also got a few things from New York and Company. I did a little try on for you guys. So that will be up next. Cause you a bad man, if she don't love man, if she break cross 
real fast like Carmen Wanna swim down to the deep end Wanna know all my secrets, honestly Can you keep it real, cause honestly I can tell that you're real fond of me Baby, don't be shy, I can see it in your eyes I've been running around, too bad I've been sticking out your mind I know you like your hell, I'm coming from behind I know you stand you how you take it all my time Left, right, can you take it all the time?
Body on to make your girl OD I get in my way, never out of my lane Feel like you the one in the morning In addition to New York and Company, I worked with Better Brand recently. Now they are known for their yoga pants, their denim yoga pants, and work yoga pants that you can literally wear to work, out to a party or dinner, brunch, and you can also wear them to the gym. They are good for working out. You can wear them to the gym, you do yoga, Pilates, or whatever it is in those jeans, and I love that or rather in their pants because it's not just jeans but the one I wore was a jeans the one that they sent to me and I love 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 I've worn it three times since I've worn it to work I've worn it to brunch and I've also worn it to an appointment like I love how it feels it's so soft it gives my booty a little pop and I'm here for that especially and I love white leg pants I realize that they look better on me kind of balances out my shape um, so those seem to be a better um, fit for me, white leg jeans, and better brand. Love it. I'll leave a discount code. I I don't know if this code is something that you would get whether you log on to their um, site or not, but they give me this code. It's twenty percent off of your first item. So I think that's a pretty good deal. High quality, beautifully fitting, very flattering jeans. I also have a few bags. One from Amazon and the other two are from Xe. Let me get them for you guys. Starting with my fave. Now, guys, this bag is um like yeah, y'all don't even want to know the price I paid. It was so affordable. It looks like it should worth three, three or four times the, the cost that I paid for it. Now the feathers so far are staying but I haven't really carried it outside like and worn it. But I styled it um, with the Better Brand uh, pants for a reel that I did for them. I'll insert what that looked like. And I just love it. I love that soft blush pink. It's, it's, it's just the perfect evening bag, I think. And since we are doing the most, you don't have to wait till this evening to carry this bag. I do love the pearl and gold accent on it so good it also has a very long strap i made it into a choker so i wrapped it around about three times and that became my necklace loved it that way i don't suspect that i will carry this with the long strap so this shorter strap is my preference this the perfect touch of elegance and drama at the same time this is from amazon i will link it in my storefront I seldom get a chance to link all of the links because that takes time. So if you go check out, um, I think it will be under accessories. This bag is from Etsy. So this fabric, I think you call it Lame, I think. Beautiful. Silver is so on trend right now. It's very much the hype. So when I saw this, I was like, I need a bag that has some kind of silver um, chrome look to it and when I saw this I loved the basket weave and the gold hardware as well but I have one issue guys is the most I guess it might be weird to some people but it's like the bag is made so well but I wish that it was three quarters of the size that it is meaning like if I had the bag this size, 
maybe like to or maybe even a little short like I basically would have cut off shaved off this and this and then that would be the rest of the bag it would have been ideal for me because I see this bag not as the bag that I'm going to take out in the day but more like a unless it was like brunch or something but yeah this is what I would prefer to wear as an evening bag so I think I might send it back and exchange it for something else because I do love the other items that the seller on Etsy has. All right, next from Etsy. Now I saw this bag on a sister on Instagram. She, I will leave her IG handle, I don't recall it out of my head, but she's a great supporter and I love her style. Uh, her fashion sense is phenomenal. She, Hooked me onto these bags. Now, mind you, this bag color, I wasn't, I didn't realize I ordered this one. I feel like if I wanted a brighter color, but I, I'm not mad at it. So, this bag comes in various colors. You can get green, you can get blue, pink, purple, you can get a whole bunch of colors. And you might even get a different type of um, yellow. I am going to order a different color because now that I got the bag and I only got it today it has a crossbody strap the perfect top handle which is my preference this is how I prefer to carry my bag and this beautiful tassel chain we adore it I think the maker is in Europe or something but considering all of that knowing that these bags may be even made to order I got this in under under two weeks all right so I haven't even opened this as yet so this is kind of like an unboxing because I literally got it today so I haven't gone in the inside of the bag as yet love the gold class and the other gold hardware as I mentioned before and it has this soft like satin in the inside of the bag like I love that so good I think it can hold quite a bit of things. Let's try it out. So here's my phone. Here are my glasses. <laughs> and I can put like makeup, which I'm not going to do right now. Because I like to put my makeup in another bag before I put it in. But let's maybe add just a random bottle of something and then close it. It closes very easily. I love it, guys. So I haven't styled this for you as yet. Um, but expect that you will see it spelled very very soon really love it <laughs> I feel like I am more into things that are different I may have mentioned this before in another video but I'm more geared toward purchasing things that are not seen on everyone else and I can tell you that I will be purchasing more bags from this particular Etsy shop now this bag I think was about $80 $90 come on for the craftsmanship of this I would have paid more it's so good but as you guys already know Amazon has been taking all my money and especially on sunglasses <laughs> so a lot of sunglasses are very trendy right now if you are into those vibrant colored glasses of big frames then Amazon is the place because these things are trendy and I will not spend money on luxury trendy items like that so actually I want to give a, do a video on the items that I regret buying that are luxury pieces because some of them I do not even wear it don't make sense so I'm not getting cost but wear but I will be wearing the hell out of these ones, guys. Look at these sunnies. Amazon. Listen, let's not sleep on Amazon. They have all of the looks. Okay, so these baddies made an appearance recently on Instagram. And I got so many comments in my DMs because I put it up in my stories. I don't know who thought of this look, but listen. No, I know that Gucci and a bunch of other fashion houses have very similar sunnies. But you see, the price, it will not be beat. <laughs> this, I think we're about 15, I think. But in any event, they were very affordable. And I think they come in different colors. I would like to get the other color. I think it might be blue. Shh. 
they are a vibe and I want to wear them everywhere with every single thing. I love them so much. All right, check out my storefront for these guys, okay? And then, well, these may look so familiar to you because I have the um, a darker frame with the darker lens in this same style that I wore while I was in Barbados. But I loved them so much that when I realized that they had this um, yellow, which is one of my favorite lens colors, when I saw that they had these, basket it went. Yes, love them. These would be my perfect like everyday sunglasses or sunglasses that I would wear at night which is so much of a trend as well. I don't like to wear darker sunglasses at night because I feel like my eyes aren't that great. So <laughs> adding dark sunglasses that I can't see out of well it's not a vibe. So these are perfect. Definitely love 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 Amazon right now for sunglasses also I'm not good at um, sunglasses um, like taking care of them and making sure that they are safe I have lost a pair of Tom Ford's I mean they were the most expensive sunglasses I've ever had and I got them for my birthday I probably paid close to $500 or maybe even more for those sunglasses they were limited edition they were red um, Almost similar to that same sunny that I just wore. <sighs> I love them so much. And every time I think of them, I, I feel that sadness for having lost them. So it's good for me to have a few cheaper, rather, let's not use the word cheap, the, a more affordable set of sunglasses that I wouldn't feel so horrible when they're gone. You know? So yeah. All right, the next item I have, and I'm gonna put these back on because oh, I just love how they make me look. Okay, if you see me in these glasses, just walk on by because I'm not to be talked to. Okay. <laughs> All right, next up, guys. I didn't do a styling for this particular item because I actually was sending it back and I probably still will because it's not what I thought it would look like. So this is what I'm currently wearing. I'm wearing this little tank top and my shorts from New York and Company. But I wanted to show you this jacket that I got from Amazon. Now this biker jacket is slightly different to the usual biker jacket. It doesn't have a full collar. It has a, I would say a notched collar, very short. And then all of these beautiful studded detail is what caught me. Not only on the shoulders, but on the sleeves. And then this part here with the zipper that can be zipped all the way up, or it can actually be removed or just half zip it and then leave it, let it hang down, which is truly a vibe. So I'm on the fence about it, guys. Um, help, basically is what I'm asking for right now. I know I'm looking a little dark. Let me step back a little more. So you guys can see what it looks like on. All right, so it's, this one is a size medium, which is my size in a jacket because I don't like things that are fitting me too tight in my shoulders and I have very um, big arms, well, what am I saying? My arms ain't the biggest, but my arms are fairly sizable, I guess, for my frame and my shoulders are broad. So I like to know that when I have something, a jacket or something that was wearing outside as an outer rear, that I'm comfortable in my sleeve. So I picked this up in a medium. Guys, what do you think? Would you suggest I keep it. I think it was about $60, $70 for the price. I was like, oh yeah. I read some reviews and those people who reviewed this jacket really loved it. So that's why I went for it. But I like it. It has double zippers up front. Um, but I'm zipping it on the, the outermost one. 
just so you can see how it has like a nice little shape let's zip it up so I was really hoping that when I zipped it up that it would cinch me right in in the waistline like this and then the outside part would kick out now I don't think that I can adjust it like I thought about the possibility of me adding like a dart or something in it but I don't know if it will give me the kick that I'm expecting here so it, that would I would have to do so much adjusting like maybe adding a bone or something here just so it sticks out is it worth the effort probably for the cost of it I would say why not all right what do you guys think I have until January to return it I think if I want to so it's very much a possibility that I will return this so I also zipped it up on the other zipper so one can zip to make it cinch in a little bit more the other one is a little looser excuse the tag until I decide if I'm keeping it or not taking off the tag I just want you guys to see me a little bit better How about me grab my little yellow bag? <laughs> she rush it right. All right, let me take off these glasses because I realize that this camera is not picking up my face as good as those. But yeah, look at how this pops against the black. I'm so excited to style this bag. Okay, my darlings, I think that's all I have for you for now until I see you again in my next video be well once again thanks to all of you for all the love that you have been pouring on me I just appreciate all of you so so much and please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and I always look forward to your comments all of these things matter the algorithm loves your thumbs up but I think it loves your comments even more and I look forward to reading from you I mean even if you just give me a heart or a thumbs up or I mean, you know, a little emoji thumbs up, I know that you're there. And some of you I've understood have been following along for a while, but haven't always commented. So I appreciate when you find that urge to comment. <laughs> and I'm hoping to give you guys that urge more often. All right, let me start rambling and I'm going to see you guys again really soon. Love you all so much. Mwah. Bye.